day viewers and subscribers welcome to another tutorial for today's lesson we'll be looking at secondary storage device now what is a secondary storage device now it is not directly accessible by the cpu which is the central processing unit or you can also call it the brain of the computer system computer usually uses its input or output channels to access secondary storage and transfer the desired data using intermediate era in primary storage for, an, for example using your hard, your hard disk or your hard drive it can also refer to as offline or remote storage that is secondary storage now let us look at hard disk now hard disk drive is the main and usually largest data storage device in a computer it can store anywhere from 160 gigabytes to 2 terabytes of data and even more with this day and age technology. Hard disk speed is a speed at which content can be read and written on the hard drive. Now, the speed varies from 4500 to 7200 RPM, which is revolutions per minute. This access time is measured in milliseconds. Now here is a visual representation of an internal hard disk and an external hard disk. Now let us make some comparisons between internal hard disk and external hard disk. Regarding portability, portability the internal hard disk would, would be port portable since it's inside the computer. Then the external which is accessible by USB port. Regarding the price, the internal hard disk would be less expensive as compared to the external hard disk, which would be more expensive. Speed, the internal hard disk would be way faster. Why? Because it's internal, it's within the computer system. However, the external hard disk would be slow because you know there are different factors that can affect the, the, the data traveling time and so forth. Regarding size, the internal hard disk, it's pretty much big. <laughs> and the external hard disk would be the small device. We also have what they call a tertiary storage. Now, this typically involves a robotic mechanism, which will mount and dismount removable mass storage media into a storage device. It is a comprehensive computer storage system that is usually very, very slow people. So it is usually used to archive data that is not accessed frequently. This is primarily useful for extraordinary large data stores accessed without human operators basically. So tertiary storage involves your magnetic tape and your optical disk. Let us examine magnetic tape. A magnetically coated strip of plastic on which data can be encoded that is a magnetic tape so tapes for computers are similar to tapes used to store music tape is much less expensive than other storage mediums but commonly a much slower solution that is commonly used for backup so it's really really slow optical disk now optical disk is any storage media that holds content in digital format and is really used in laser assembly so that is considered as an optical media once it's read using a laser assembly the most common types of optical media are your blu-ray bd your compact disc cd and your digital versatile disc which is your dvd now regarding storage capabilities for the compact disc the maximum storage is 700 megabyte now for the digital versatile disc which is a dvd it ranges from 4.7 gigabyte to 17 gigabyte and for your blu-ray disc a maximum of 50 gigabyte we also have our offline storage also known as our disconnected or removable storage 
it is a computer data storage on a medium or a device that is not under the control of a processing unit. It must be inserted or connected by a human operator before a computer can access it again. So examples of these type of storage are like your floppy disk, your zip disk is not so popular, your USB flash drive and your memory card. Now a floppy disk, this is a, this is a soft magnetic disk. Floppy disks are also portable. Floppy disks are slower to access than hard disks and have less storage capacity. But they are much less expensive. Can store data up to 1.44 megabytes. So that is pretty, pretty small people. So this is a visual representation of a floppy disk. So you have, you have two different sizes. You have the five the five quarter inch floppy disk and you have the three and a half inch floppy disk. Also we have the USB flash drive. Now this is a small portable flash memory card that is plugged into a computer USB port and function as a portable hard drive. Flash drives are available in sizes such as 250 megabytes, 512 megabytes, 1 gigabyte, 5 gigabyte and even 16 gigabytes and are an easy way to transfer and store information so you can use it to store your music your video files and so forth or your pictures memory cards now this is an electronic flash memory storage this commonly used in consumer electronic devices such as your digital cameras your mp3 players your mobile phones and other small portable devices now memory cards are usually read by connecting the device containing the card to your computer or by using a usb card reader now these are some types of memory cards and there you have your memory card reader at the lower right corner Cloud storage. Everyone, are, everyone must be familiar with cloud storage because it has gained popularity over the years. Now, cloud storage means the storage of data online in the cloud, <laughs> wherein a data is stored in an and accessible from multiple distributed and connected resources that comprises a cloud. Cloud storage can provide the benefit of greater accessibility and reliability, rapid deployment and strong protection for data backup, archival and disaster recovery processes. So it's much safer right now people to store information in cloud storage, especially when you're backing up information. And your several your several companies out there are several organizations that provides some popular organizations out there right now are Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox. This is the end of today's lesson. I hope you learned something. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and also tune in for new content.